Quinn, uh, Stray Photo. Wanted to take a minute today and talk about a bag that I have that I've had for quite a while. And I really like it. It's called the Donkey F802. It's a black canvas uh, messenger style bag with a simple shoulder strap and uh, not a whole lot of padding. And it's one of the uh, better photography bags I own, one of the better camera bags. So let's take a closer look at the Donkey F802. Alright, so here it is, the Donkey F802. It's a uh, simple black canvas Donkey camera bag. It's got the front flap, two small pockets on the front flap. It's got a top handle, shoulder strap. The shoulder strap is permanently attached. You can't really remove it. Um, the shoulder pad comes with it, or if you order it separately, it comes with it. And uh, I like the shoulder pad. The strap itself has the little grip chinny spots on it to keep it on your shoulder a little bit better. And I find it works all right. The, the pad's pretty comfortable as long as you don't overload it. This is a fairly large bag. It's uh, 15 and a half by five by 12 or 13 actually. And you can fit a lot of junk in it, quite a bit of camera gear. And it does get real heavy, especially for one shoulder. Heavy enough to where you'd probably rather have a backpack if you had this thing completely full. So the simple snap closure there, or snap clip, whatever you want to call that thing. Um, in the front, you've got these two pockets here, and these are good size pockets. You can easily fit a full size flash. A full size flash fits right in there, no problem. Thing swallows that, buttons right up. Um, you even got some extra room in there. You could probably fit another small flash or a bracket. Um, same over here, another good size pocket. Behind these two pockets, you've got one smaller slash pocket, and then you've got the main compartment of the bag. And the main compartment itself is actually pretty good size holds quite a bit of gear. It will easily fit a full size, you know, fit a full size DSLR with a 7200 lens on it. With no real problems at all. But once you've got that full size SLR in there with the 7200 lens, if you put another SLR in there with a lens on it, a couple of flashes, some memory cards, it does get it real heavy real quick. So it's easy to overload. It's a bag that's big enough you can you can overload it without really trying to. And then it becomes pretty difficult to carry all day long. You get all sorts of different padded little compartments in here. There's very little padding in the bottom of the bag. There is some, but it's minimal. This is a, a bag for someone who keeps good track of their camera gear. You're definitely not gonna check it anywhere or leave it laying around or you want it to bang around. You want to have your camera gear with you all the time when you've got it in this bag. There's not a lot of padding with it. Um, I really do enjoy this bag though. It's easy to use. It is large enough to fit a 14 inch laptop in without any real worries. It slides right in there. Holds that quite well. Um, again, not a lot of padding and one shoulder. So if you're gonna put a laptop and two SLRs in there, you better be ready Better have a strong shoulder. Mine's not strong enough. I get, I get miserable if I have my laptop and two cameras in there. It gets to be pretty heavy pretty quick. Not very fun to carry. But if I know where I'm going and I know what I need and I just need a little bit of gear, a couple of cameras, and not much else, this is a great bag for it. It's easy to carry. It's easy to pick up. It's pretty compact. I really enjoy it. I really like um, that it's just a simple canvas bag. I've thrown it in the wash a few times. I just line dry it, hang it out to dry in the sun and it comes out looking brand new almost every single time. It's worn really well, it's broken in well. Um, it's fairly nondescript, and I actually like that it doesn't have a lot of padding. It's an easy bag to carry, kind of conforms to your body without having to be all stiff and, and wonky. Some of those low pro backpacks are so over padded, it's ridiculous. Um, and they serve their purpose, but this, this is a different purpose, and I like it for what it does. If I have a complaint to dislike, it's that it does hold a lot. You can really overload it quite easily, and it gets uncomfortable when it's full with just the one shoulder strap. But if you're going to take that much stuff, you should be carrying a backpack anyway. It's not the easiest to see into. It would be nice if the interior was some sort of contrasting color. Even this lighter gray would be uh, a little bit easier to make things to see. It's pretty easy to lose stuff in the bottom. You've got a pen in the bottom of this pocket. You're, I mean, you need a flashlight to find it, but those are minor, minor complaints. Other than that, it's a great bag. One of the things I like about it the most, obviously, as with most bags that I really like, it is 
made in the USA. And I think that's a pretty cool thing to have, especially in a photography bag these days, all the new Kickstarter bags and all the famous ones that everybody raves about, they're all made in China. And so uh, I got a hand of the donkey for keeping their manufacturing in the USA. Great bag, canvas, comes in a couple of different colors. Um, weighs about two and a half pounds, empty. So, anyway, the donkey F803 in canvas. Check it out if you like. Thanks for watching.